Morning everyone. It's been a while since I've last uploaded on YouTube, about two years now. Um, I missed this past goose, or not goose, uh, duck season. Didn't get time to really record, just want to enjoy it. But um, today we're going on late goose season, or late goose season hunt today with my buddy and his dad. Uh, shout out to them because they took me out hunting, showed me more went to the delta all this other new stuff i've never been to they helped me get my first two mallards but they helped me a lot and today we're gonna go goose hunting but um yeah i thought i'd let you upload on youtube got a camera for uh well it's my dad's old gopro so we're gonna use that got a head cam for it get to record the hunt but i also wanted to show you guys my new like shelf for when I charge my Mojo's agitator, GoPro, my dog's e collar, and all that extra stuff that I have. So this let's is get the into it. Shelf that I came up with, and my uncle and my dad helped me make it happen. So, what it is basically, you take your Mojo's and you can just put them in here and then open the back and charge them. But I'm still, I want to convert to the six volt battery. Right now I just have the four double A's, which I hate because you have to change them out all the time. Um, my dog's e-collar for when it's duck season. Agitator just slips in and out. The, um, the little power bank right here, screwed down so it doesn't come off and doesn't slide around. The other mojo is right here. I put LED lights on it just to give it a little more character. Apple Watch charger, Alexa, and then my GoPro with its charger right here. And then I threw some extra things on here when I don't need it. And then down here, I got weights that I'm going to be taking because we're going to be going on a, a lake hunt. So I only have 30 inch cables, I believe, or 34 inch cables. So we might need a longer line. So I might just take two, put them together. That way it doesn't drift off. They are fixing, they are fixing it on that uh, lapper. All right, dude. Ready? Yep. There's your goose, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Is it blinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I tell you, she don't win the hell out there. Hi right, guys, so to add on to the video, I'm gonna do a gear, kind of like tour thing of what I have. So you get a good look around of what we got. So starting off, I have a dozen green heads, or not green heads, green wing teal from Final Approach, and I'm running them on a Texas rig by Rig 'em Right. Then over here, this is my first ever dozen mallards that I've gotten from Cabela's. They're not the full size, but I mean they they worked. So I got a dozen of them on Rig 'em Right Texas rigs. Then over here. I got my Lucky Duck Splasher. Um, I haven't used it this yet, just yet. Over here I got my Lucky Duck Goose Agitator. I used this during the goose hunt and somewhat of late season duck hunt of last year. I love it. Then I got my two baby Moba Joes that I converted to remote control. Soon's gonna be convert them to a six volt battery for both. Then I have my Mojo butt rippler and full body rippler. Um, my full body rippler is broken, so that's kind of a bad deal right there. Then I have a, found this out in the marsh as a confidence de decoy, it's a coot. Then I got six full body, I will full size mallard floaters, also Cabela's on a rig and right Texas rig. Then down here, come with me down here, I got my 
blind bag. I used to have the Final Approach um, backpack with the whole gun thing. Well, it broke. After one whole season hunt with it, it broke. So I went to Rig'em Right and I got me the, I want to say it's the XL blind bag or something like that. But I got my decoy gloves by Drake. I use these things and I love them. So if you want to find yourself a good pair of decoy gloves that are like Sitka that are like hundreds of dollars. 90 bucks, well, I got mine for 80, and these are a good pair. So it has a thermos slash glove pocket up here, pocket right here that I believe I have my license in. No, I have her scent for her duck. Then inside the bag, I got my calls. I'll go over those real quick after this. Um, butt wipes, always need these. I have my GoPro head mount. I got all my GoPro accessories here cleaning kit, my shells, I keep them in a dry box, that way they don't get too wet and soak and burn the gun, hand stick for my GoPro, and then I have a multi-use punt puncher to take apart any gun that I have, and I believe, and then my wings would go in here, my headlamps in here, I believe I just have some random stuff in here. So we have the sunglass part right here, and then in this pocket we got face mask for when it gets real cold out there. And then it has nice compartments. You can put all your different stuff in here. Get a closer angle there. Um, up here, I have all the dummy plugs and the other plugs for the baby mojos. So when you, when you um, switch them to a remote, you gotta take those out, put the remote plugs in. And then in here is my license, where I keep it, just in case I need it out in the field. So that's my flying bag. And then over here, take a walk over here. We got these came from my uncle and my buddies him and his dad gave me some uh they're a fixer up i'll tell you that i got a lot of painting ahead of us to get these all back in shape got mallards divers you name it and then over here i have about a dozen honker decoys from i got two of them or three of them i believe from my uncle and then the rest were given to me by my buddy and his dad and then over here we got my decoy bags and then also the bags were given to me by my buddy and his dad so shout out to them and my uncle and then these are my decoy bags that i bought i got like a six slot or yeah six slot honker bag that i put my ducks in there especially my teal they all fit in there perfect and then a mesh bag this is a sled that my grandpa built for me uh homemade not the biggest of them, but it's got skids on the bottom that I use. You can see I tore them up. Rope, and it's got sealed up so it doesn't, it'll float. And then over here, over here we got, this is for my dog, Brooke. Yeah, she's got an e-collar by Dogtra. And then I run her on a Rig'em Right vest that she's wanting to tell. And then this. Well, probably the most proudest thing I've gotten is my Mo Marsh Invisa Lab blind for her, especially because she's a big white dog. Where anyone can spot her out of the field. So I love this thing. Even you know, I used it for about I think two or three hunts, but it collapses down, fits nice and easy on the sled, perfect. And then this is my stand, Avery's Marsh seat. Yeah. So that's pretty much about all my decoys that I run, all my spreads that I got. So leave a comment down below of what you think on what I got, what I should get. Or if you want me to do a review on anything more like close up, just leave a comment down below. But like, subscribe. See you again later.